Hello, my friends. This is something different than what I usually speak on YouTube. But my heart is heavy, heavy tonight. And I know a lot of you, your heart is heavy too. My heart is heavy for America. And it's heavy for Florida. On uh, August 27th, which a lot of you all know, um, I think it was August 27th, I released a word that you can go back and listen. It was um, a word about September and about October. And I heard God in the dream come to me. Um, and he said September was a time of rest. But he said in this time that we must get grounded. Like when a storm comes, like when a tornado comes. We must be grounded for it not to harm us. And then he said, October, a storm is coming. And, uh, you know, when I release words, sometimes I don't know uh, if it's spiritual or if it's physical. There's been several words that I have released, you know, that God has shown me. This has nothing to do with me. I don't want any fame. I don't want anything. I want God's word to be heard. But sometimes it's spiritual. Sometimes it's physical, like the bridges that fell, uh, you know, and some things that I've seen that has come to pass. Um, but this has broke my heart. Uh, so many people, you know, they're evacuating, which we all know. Uh, from the storms, the storm, and uh, a lot of people, it breaks my heart to see the ones in North Carolina that are devastated, that's lost children, that's lost family, that's lost their animals, and I see them now, and guys, we should be interceding, if, if, you, if anyone is a Christian, they should be on their knees, and interceding for these people, and interceding for America. You know, Aaron in the Bible interceded for the people between life and death from the plague. He stood between life and death, and he interceded for the people. And what happened? It didn't touch them. The plague receded back, and we can intercede Guys, listen, Jesus, when the storm came, he rebuked the storm. And he said, peace be still. And he calmed the waves. And he calmed the storm. And the Bible says that we will do many more things than Jesus did. Greater things. And he is inside us. Jesus is inside us. And we must come together as Christians and rebuke the storm. In the name of Jesus, rebuke it back and speak peace and come in agreement. The Bible says, if two or more agrees, it shall be done. Guys, some of these people have no way out. They can't evacuate. Some can't. And it breaks my heart. I saw them put numbers on their livestock and their horses and, and some not leaving. and um, You know, putting life vest on their children. My God, it could be any of us, and it may be you all. And I intercede, and I plead the blood of Jesus, and I pray, and I pray, and I command the armies of angels to come down and encamp round about you and protect you, and I command this storm. I rebuke this storm in the name of Jesus. And we need to come together tonight as Christians. If we are truly Christians and have the true heart of Jesus, that our heart will be breaking too. I know that this is a time and God knows everything. I know there's judgment. There's different judgment. There is a national judgment. There's corporate judgment. There's individual judgment. I know there's so many things that are meshing together right now, but our Lord has mercy and he hears the cry of his children. And he said that a righteous man prayer avails much. So I just want to encourage you tonight. I want to ask you tonight to intercede for these people. Intercede for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Intercede for the world. Have mercy on them, their children, and, and their animals. 
My heart is absolutely broken. I know God's is too. We've got to come together and get our eyes off all the distractions and come together and help each other. One of the greatest commandments is to love one another. It is not about who's got the best name, who prophesied this to make their self famous, who's got this conference going, who's coming to this church, who's doing this. It is about unity and it's about love. And it's about coming together and loving each other. Let's love each other like Christ loved us. Let's help each other. And let's intercede like this is our children and our, their lives at stake. God bless you, friends.